doing things a little bit different. And by that, I mean today is a completely normal day. See, normally here on a Wednesday, we would be publishing a video uh, revolving around artist performance or recording with an artist, something like that. That new series we started, but because of restrictions uh, up here in Buffalo, New York, around the pandemic and all that, we don't have an artist in this week. So it's just us here at the office. And I'm gonna show you guys what a normal day here is at Abyss. Here's some bright lights. And this is our green screen. This is what we use to take thumbnail photos and things like that. Makes my life a lot easier than having to crop out every single hair around somebody's head, but it has some problems. It's not perfect, it wrinkles up easy, and we got a new one. It looks super good compared to our old one. What do you think about that, huh? The green screen. New green screen? Yeah, you can probably make funny faces in front of that. Yeah. Sick thumbnails. It looks a lot better than the old one. Do we have anything interesting going on today? You guys are doing some stuff in the bag. Machine stuff? Yeah, machine stuff. Yeah, we got a new spindle on one of the machines because it's so exciting. So these machines we use to make all the things and one of them has a bit of a printing commit, so we're getting a new spindle popped into it. Those uh, those googly eyes in there is that? Oh, it's is, very functional. Is it that enhances performance? The factory standard? No, it's not from all accessory. Oh, it's custom. Yeah, it's sixteen horsepower wheel. Yeah. They're replacing a thing back there. Is there? You got anything interesting going on up here today? Not much. You're just building headphones. Yeah. Okay, I don't really know the functional purpose of the spindle back there, so what exactly is that for? I mean, I understand that machines so out Diana parts. It, right? And yeah. it reacts against the forces imposed on the actual cutter itself. It's kind of the most important thing on the machine. It's, it's what holds the tool. Okay, this is like, like on a power drill, the actual piece that clamps down around the tool? Kind of? Yeah, so it's the spinny bit that holds the tool in place. Oh uh, yeah, that's kind of important. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty important. All right, so normal day, you're back here building headphones, QCing them, packaging them, getting everything ready to go. How many headphones do you have to build today? In an ideal world, how many headphones do you think you are gonna have built today? Ideally, two. Two Dianas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does take a lot of time to build a Diana. Between the actual assembly, right? So you have to assemble all these different pieces and then assemble those pieces. Things have to be machined and sanded and painted and you know, the actual slider assembly has to be put together, different parts of the driver and all that. How long do you think it actually takes for one Diana to go through the whole process, like start to finish? Mm -hmm. Just from pieces of aluminum, to being a Diana that's going out the door. It's a long time. Right. A lot of it's in the, I don't do, it's in the back machine. Right, so a lot of this stuff, I know that um, if a Diana's ordered, it's not, it's not like we just start building it that day. We start building them, you know, I'm assuming a few weeks ahead. I see, yeah. We start building them a few weeks ahead and then generally people will order them as we're close to completing one. That way we can put together the final assembly and send it out. So I don't know what, like a, a few weeks probably worth of time going to a Diana. Something like that. Yeah. That's about right? Yeah. To go from The what? The spindle's done. The spindle's done? That's sweet. So that thing's gonna get fired up? Yeah, it's gotta break it in a little bit, I think. So I just asked Jason this also. From the time of it being just a piece of aluminum to being shipped out the door, how long do you think it takes for something like a Diana or something like that? Because we start making them before anybody ever even orders them. Yeah, like calendar days or man hours? Calendar days. How many calendar days do you think it takes for a Diana to come from being just raw materials to being a completed Diana? Assuming that like, you know, everything goes completely normal. Commonly around three weeks. Three weeks? That's a fair bit of time. You know, just throw them together in an afternoon, throw it together in 10 minutes. Not quite like that. What is the longest part of that process? What do you think takes the most time? Or is it just a bunch of little things that add up? Uh, well, well, the assembly, it's, it's a lot of things that add up. But initially, the machining and painting, like probably most of it. It's mostly the finishing of the frame. Yeah. Yeah, that has a bunch of steps. There's a lot to do, it all takes 
repair a pit. How everything takes a while. Everything takes a while. So actually assembling the driver from start to finish, because you have to let them sit for a while too for some parts of it. What about just building one pair of drivers? Maybe like a week. <laughs> about a week? A week so to make a, uh, so a set of drivers? The first one, and then after that, then it's not as bad, because then you have a few to, to right. from. Okay, so about a, about a week to make a set of drivers. The tension rings on 1266? Yeah, I mean, there's the machining, and the anodizing, and then adding uh, different like layers. Seven finishing and, steps. Yeah. There's how many finishing steps? I don't know, something like seven. Seven? It's excessive. It's a lot. You have to put an SSD in the laser machine? Yeah. Okay, so this machine controls the laser that we use to laser the baffles on Diana. Yeah. And 1266, and also on the uh, bags, correct? That needs to be right. Yeah. You gotta give me a set of those? Yeah, I think these are, let's use a warranty card for 1266. So these are actually like little yeah, metal like plates. Yeah, huh. yeah. Wait, what were you just saying? I, I was just talking about how cool the laser sounds. Yeah, I said it'd be, we were we were trying to figure out what we'd have to burn into something to make it make a tune like Stairway to Heaven, you know. <gasps> that would only happen here. All right, so that's that lasers lasering. Mm -hmm. It's a nice green screen though, isn't it's, it? It's not that high though. Well, yeah, you'll have to crouch. There you go. Now crouch. Now look this way. Oh, oh my do gosh! Face. Okay, do your normal regular face that you do. This is it. Oh, the stupid one. This is too short. Well, I'll put a chair there. Yeah. Incredible. It is kind of nice though. It doesn't wrinkle like the old one. Yeah, that is nice. I'm running people through basically a normal day here at the office. What in the world is a normal day at this office? There's no such thing as normal. Every day is like... New stuff to build, new things to do. this, out of that. Trying to figure out what we need to make. There we go. Now that green screen is all set up. Am I on like a mountaintop or something? On a mountaintop? Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that interesting thing happening behind me that I can see so readily because it's right behind me. Yeah, it's pretty crisp and clearly that we got all the cables hung up there now too. It's nice and neat. Oh yeah, look at that. Right next to the mountain. Not uh, not bad. Here, I flip some lights on. And over at the computer, we're rendering the video. The ultimate headphone test, which Whoa, is going to be out. Boy, yeah. Oh. Hopefully, that'll be out like next week or something if it all renders right. That'd be kind of cool. So excited. It is the end of the day. Yeah, it's nighttime. How many headphones did you ship? Two. Two, exactly as many as you thought you would ship. Yeah, well, I got the last one done. Uh, five minutes before UPS got Well, there you go. Right on track, huh? Yes. And that was my optim best case scenario to go it happen. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up a relatively normal, as normal as normal gets around here, day at the office. Uh, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna film some episodes at the top of the line. So you're gonna see those Monday and Friday like normal. If you wanna see more episodes like this, just walking around the office with the camera, showing off the things that go on around here, let me know, leave a comment or a like down below and we will keep an eye on those. But yeah, I think that's about it. So we're gonna wrap this up and I'll see you guys in the next one.